So today, of course, I'm doing part two of making my own inserts. And again, I'm using my tabletop tripod. I've got a little bit more lighting going on, so I hope you guys can see very well. Uh, let me get this adjusted. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do today is show you guys what I have done. And my objective here is to try to use the entire uh, pack of paper. So, to refresh, I was using the My Mind's Eye Paper Goods Designer Paper Pad, 48 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock paper, right? And this is Bliss. I got it from Tuesday morning. It was $6.99 plus tax. Um... Regular value $19.99, but of course it's $6.99 because everything is uh, discounted at um, Tuesday morning. So I hope you guys can see that. $6.99. The paper pack is Bliss and it is by My Mind's Eye. Okay? And it's got mint and it's got that pinkish peach color and it has some foil now I couldn't tell that it had foil you know just by the pack and as far as I was looking on here it did not signify that there was any foil so I was very very pleased when I opened the pack and I saw all the foil because as you can see here my traveler's notebook my agenda 52 and um, this is by the Paper Studio Hobby Lobby. It has some beautiful, you know, blingage on here. And I put my gemstone initial on the front. Now, this is not, you know, rose gold by any, you know, stretch of the imagination. But when you get inside of here, um, the inside here is, you know, rose gold-ish. So, you know, it, it kind of like plays with your eye a little bit. And then I put some things in the pocket, which this is acetate tags. I just took the little, um, these little strings. I took the strings out. And then I showed you guys on the last video about these pockets here, these little uh, cups. Um, I got everything from Hobby Lobby. And so it, this paper, all of it, the foilage, um, is wonderful. So the entire paper pack is in here. Except for, you know, the scraps or whatever. So 48 sheets have been cut down, rounded, and added in here. And I have used one rubber band for the jump band, which is right there. Okay? So that's what's going on in here right now. You know, just, you know, your average, your basic, that's what's going on. So the objective today is dashboards and pockets. And I'm hoping I can get done with this um, and not have to have a part three. Um, I don't have any hangover, really, as you can see. And in making these uh, pockets, um, and everything. I'm hoping that I don't have any hangover. I know what's going to have to happen when I do the um, dashboards. I'm going to have to cut down uh, the dashboard a little bit because the um, laminate paper is going to hang over a little bit. So I'll have to cut I'll have to cut that front sheet down maybe a quarter inch so it doesn't hang all the way over because I'm on the edge. I am on the edge. So you can see when you stand it up, there's no hangover. So I will have to cut it down a little bit, but that's okay. And I put a pink pen in here. It is a Sharpie pen. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in here, but I put it in here for sight effect so you could actually see that even with the pen in here, you know, there's still no hangover and it's okay. So let's look at what I have left over. What I've got left over is all of these scraps, different sizes. And so I have three different sizes of scraps and I'm just gonna separate these while my laminator is heating up. It may be four different sizes 
it's just depending on and I did not use my paper cutter okay I went ahead and just used um, my Stanley instead of using my exacto and I just you know went to town and cut everything down and the reason I did that was because you know it was just easier for me now I'm at the point where I really don't even need a you know paper cutter because it's just you know for me I just like cutting my paper like that and I actually don't have any intentions of getting any more 12 by 12 I just you know with the traveler's notebooks I, I feel like you know I'm getting smaller and smaller in size because that's just what I like I used to like you know the really really big traveler's notebooks and now because my style has changed and you know you go through those phases where you know your style will change and you know all that but I'm never you know going to leave travel notebooks I don't use my happy planners as much and you know all that kind of stuff I just don't so I only have two strips of this I have a lot of these strips and let's see what I've got going on over here I have one strip of that and the rest of them are those sizes. So you can see laid out what I've got. I've got just one of these because this is my very first cut. I have a couple of those, a lot of this size and a lot of that. So I can make a lot of, you know, pockets. I can make some bookmarks. Um, you know, I've got some things that, you know, can come out of this. And so this really makes me happy and I can have some stuff left over. I can make some, you know, page markers. I can make some journaling cards. I mean, everything. I can make some tip-ins. So this whole paper pack can literally be used. And, you know, you don't have to use the whole entire paper pack in one sitting. But all of this, you know, can be used. So there just may be like a part, you know, three for this. Um, you know, you never know. You never know. So I'm going to get started. Um, and just kind of, you know, feel my way through because I, you know, my ideas just come as they come. <laughs> and I like that. I like that my ideas just kind of, you know, come and flow and you don't have to have a set idea. You know, it just can kind of, you know, however you work. And I like that about myself, you know, however I, you know, want to work. That's how I flow, and I love it. So I've got some big journaling cards, just that fast, just that quick. Not really sure what I can do with this, um, these two, but they can definitely be washy. I can make some um, some of those little flags. So I think I'm gonna put these over here. As a matter of fact, I think that's exactly what I wanna do with these, is just turn them into little flags. I actually like doing that and see it's really easy you know to do that and you can just you know mark a page or something with them if you want to or whatever but you know super easy as you can see just cut the little triangle with your scissors and there you go so you have some flags right there and just brush your scraps out of the way um, there's so many of these you can cut them in half and you can have all the page markers that you know you want um, I can make small pockets out of this I can make tip-ins out of those the same thing with these I know I'm gonna make some tip-ins with these and I also know I'm gonna make some pockets with those so that's gonna be absolutely awesome when I get my uh, pockets and everything done sorry about that to make these it's gonna be just you know fabulous so what I want to do now is I'm going to take um, the first cover out of here just for demonstration's sake because I have got to show you guys how I'm going to make the pocket and then I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to take my Stanley and 
and I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to size, move that out of the way, and I'm just going to take that maybe a quarter inch off, and I make sure that I really don't move this a whole lot, because like I said, I want it to be as perfect as I can possibly get it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that off because there's going to be a little bit of time over here. And I'm going to pull one of my uh, laminating sheets out. Go ahead and put this in here. And I'm going to round that corner again before I even put this in the laminating sheet so it'll give me the illusion of um, now with my you know little rounder right here I won't be able to round my edges or whatever but I do want to give it the illusion because uh, it gets stuck my lamination gets stuck in that little but if you have like a chomper uh, corner chomper like we are memory keepers you may be able to do that um, I had one and that thing just gave me so much grief. I was just like, oh my goodness, I can't stand this thing. <laughs> it just drove me insane. Okay. Oh. Okay. Laminator is on, hot and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this through. And I usually run mine uh, a couple of times through. Sometimes I don't like to laminate my uh, foil because it just gives it a different look. Um, but to be honest with you, when it's not so much foil on here, it doesn't bother me. So, right now, because just the leaves are foiled, I don't really have an issue with it. And I also like that the dashboards are already folded, um, because... It just makes everything easier and you'll see what I mean in a minute so this is running through really smoothly really nicely and I like to keep my hands on it because every blue moon your laminator might run the risk of not feeding through properly so I like to guide mine through Got that laminated and we're gonna put this back down for the sake of time. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down. And this is only a one-sheeter, you know, it's not doubled or anything, but I still don't want to get too close to the bubble. And it cuts off really easy. avoid that bubble. I just don't like to get too close to it. Okay, so now because of the sake of time, I have already laminated all of the covers. And I'm just going to... Well, I was going to... I was going to just use my um, Miss Stanley but I think I'm gonna just do it this way. 
and just cut it down like this. Just try to save time. Just go ahead and cut this down and try to cut it even because sometimes it is easier to use this thing. And I try to eyeball it because um, sometimes it does good and sometimes it doesn't. You just have to kind of, you know, you just kind of have to hope for the best with this thing sometimes. I personally, uh, it just all depends. It just all depends. Um, doing one sheet at a time works best for me, but I tell people to, you know, work it how they, you know, feel comfortable. If it's paper, I usually will cut about three sheets at a time, but when I'm doing like laminate sheets, I usually just cut, you know, one at a time and just work it like that, but it just all depends. It helps me see that little bubble because I still, um, I don't like to get close to the bubble because I just feel like it's going to, um, you know, when you get too close to the bubble, it just wants to lift and I don't like that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but for me, um, especially if it's, if I'm going to actually use the Traveler's Notebook, you know, on a regular basis, and I still haven't decided, you know, if I'm going to use this, uh, you know, every single day or not, it's just, you know, better safe than sorry, and since I'm actually teaching you guys, um, you know, how I do this, I'd rather, you know, teach you the right way. So, and this is, you know, really quick. It's not like it takes a year and a day. You can get this done actually, you know, in a day, but like I said, I get tired really quick sometimes and, you know, I knew I was just like, you know, with other things um, to do around the house, uh, it was going to take me, you know, longer than a day, and I'm still studying uh, the Bible study that I wanted to teach and trying to map all that stuff together, so I was like, this is going to take me a little bit of time, but it's okay, you know, I'm not in a hurry, I'm not in a rush, but I want to make sure I do it right. And, um, you know, I think I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, you know, slash OCD. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, I have to get it right. I don't want, you know, any mistakes. I don't want it to look ratchet. I want everything, you know, to look like it's supposed to look. And, you know, that's just me. Now, if you don't like, you know, this type of uh, cover, you can most definitely make your um, reusable. And I've showed you on my channel how you can make your reusables as well. So you can do that instead of doing it this way. Um, but I know that I'm not going to change my dashboard. I'm not going to change my dashboards. And see here, um, this band has broken. And it is because it rubbed against this dash. You have to be careful when you use the rubber bands because they will, uh, they will break when you use the, uh, the laminate dashes or, you know, whatever. But I will say, I am definitely loving this look. I may have to cut some of the dashboards down a little bit still, but that is not going to bother me one little bit. 
I'm still feeling okay with this. All right, where's my rubber band? I'm going to reach under these and I'm going to get that rubber band, or as Walmart calls them, elastics. And I'm going to fold this. And see, that's why I love why it's, you know, pre-folded and everything. Because see how fast and easy this is going? I just love it. I mean, this is so easy. Easy, breezy, beautiful. And if you're a mess maker like I am, it just, everything just goes, you know, so easy. And so now... I got my dashboards in here and it's not really to be honest with you I can see a little bit of a hangover can you see that it's not terrible it's not terrible for me I don't think this is gonna bother me at all if you wanna you know cut it down you know you can but this is not terrible and maybe if I take the pen out because it does have a little bit of bulk. It's not terrible to me, you know. I don't know if I will cut anything down or not, but it did bulk it up just a little bit to put the dashboards in there, but this doesn't bother me. Now, what will happen is as you begin to load things up, like your pockets and everything, it probably is going to get a little bit you know wider and as it does you see what I'm saying as it gets wider you probably you probably will want to trim this down and so um, I'm gonna start you know putting some pockets in and let's see how that goes because I probably will end up taking this Stanley and trimming this down just a little bit but it's not gonna be a bother so I did make a mistake and I trimmed the first one down a little too much but at the end of the day everything might have to trim down to that side so we're just gonna see how it goes um, but I do love the dashboards the dashboards look absolutely amazing look at that amazing I super duper love these I mean they look really good they look so good and so nice in OMG Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. They look so good. They look so good. Like, I'm going to love this traveler's notebook. This TN just might be one of my favorites. You know, like when I get everything done, ah, I can see myself going charm shopping any day now. <laughs> oh, M G. I can see it happening right now. Like, I already love it. I already love this thing. So, yeah. It, it's going to happen. It's going to happen very soon. Because I love it already. So, yeah. Look at that. Pocket done. Dashboard's done. Now, I've got to have some pockets on the inside of here because, you know, we can't live without storage. And I still don't know what I'm going to put in here. Maybe a calendar. The calendars I have, um, you know that these calendars are very little. But at the same time, it's a two-year calendar. Um, so I can actually, you know, slip it in here which like I said you know it doesn't take up a whole lot of bulk but let's see what's gonna happen I'm gonna try to use my tacky glue for this project of you know putting some pockets in here and like I said I'm just gonna use my um, you know my scraps for this project and in no way shape or form am I going to um, See, that's going to be super cute to just put a pocket like that. I'm not going to match up the, you know, paper or anything. This is going to be so adorable. So I'm just going to show you 
how I do this and then um, for time's sake I'm just going to get a few done and then come back and show you some of the finished product because I you know and I know you guys probably already know how to do this but just in case you don't or just in case you know you want a different way to do it so I don't round both corners because over here is not rounded you know what I'm saying the bottom one is rounded though because I round on the inside that's gonna be cute so I'm just gonna take some tacky glue very lightly all the way around the edges very lightly you can do this with a glue gun or whatever but it's just paper and you just want to put you know your stickers or whatever you've got going on in here and just you know put it around the edges and for me I have found that uh, tacky glue doesn't take that long to you know get tacky and stick you know now if you want to match your paper up that's great but I like to be a little eclectic I don't like to uh, you know match it up just hold it down and rub it a little bit and just so long as I have a good you know capacity to hold some stickers or you know whatever That crease over here takes a bit longer for me and you don't have to actually keep this in here you can take it out but I just don't like to bother my inserts once they're in but you can take your inserts out or you can do this you know with it being you know out and so you know you pretty much let that dry or whatever but now you have you know your pocket and then you can just flip through and just create pockets as you go you know through you don't have to put pockets on the foil ones if you don't want to and you can make you know pockets long way diagonal or you know whatever type of pockets that you know you want so I'm gonna go through um, and you know just kind of do whatever pockets you know that I feel and then when I get done I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I've created and um, yeah, if I need to cut it down, I'll go ahead and do that off camera as well. And if I do have to cut it down, of course, I'll have to round my edges again and show you guys um, the work I've done and explain to you how I've done it and show you the finished product. But I think this is going to be super fun. I love that, you know, I have a pocket and a place to put, you know, journaling cards. <sighs> it's going to be so fun. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys try this out. This is just so cute. I hope you guys try it. All right, let me get some work done and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is going to be, I think, the last footage for um, my TN project. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. So I have a pretty good mess on my desk right now um, from all the tools and everything I used to try to get this completed. Um what have I used? I used my little circle punch to do some half moon shapes. I used, um, this is my Martha Stewart EK and it makes um, this little shape right here on the edge of my paper. I also used this, um, it punches um, these little designs here in the paper and it's by fist cards and I will show you how I decorate it with that if I can lock it okay. and then these right here I will use afterwards the rest of the scrap papers I will use afterwards because um, I use these for bookmarks and page marks and things of that nature I got some other stuff I have to mail off and of course I use my little rounder I was looking for this yesterday. And the scissors. 
because you can't do that with scissors. And I'm just going to spread this out to give myself a little background. Alright, so let me show you what I've done. So this is the TM that I was working on. This is the Agenda 52 by the Paper Studio exclusively at Hobby Lobby, okay? Um, and when you open it up, of course, I have my pockets still the same. I didn't change that in any way, shape, or form. My dashboards are in here. Um, this one, like I said, was a little short because I did think I was going to have to cut um, the edges down, but I did not. It worked out pretty good. There is a little bit of a hangover, um, as you can see, but it doesn't bother me right now at the moment. So I'm good with that. And this is the first pocket here. So as you can see, this is what I did with my little fist scars. It makes this little design, so I just kind of decorated my pockets with that. And um, I just put these two little uh, cards in here. I made my own journaling cards. Everything in here is made with that same paper pack. And so this is just a really plain pocket just to start off with. And this is the one that I showed you from the beginning. So I used the tacky glue to do everything in here. And then the next pocket, and I didn't do a pocket on each and everything. I just wanted some storage. So here um, I took the little rounder and made some half moons and I can stick you know, some things in here. That tacky glue is really good. Here's another pocket with a little half moon. And I did that little design here and I just used, you know, different papers, no rhyme or reason. Here's a cute little secretarial pocket right here. Can you see that? That little secretarial pocket here. And then I placed another little pocket here. And then if I flip through some more, I did some pockets on the back. Put that little flower design on the top of this right here. My pocket there, and then a secretarial pocket here, and then I put just a delicate pocket here with that little half moon there, and then this is the back, so that's the whole first section. This right here is the very first insert. So then here's the second insert with the little diamonds, and I put a very small and short little pocket here with a little half moon, just, you know, for a bookmark or something. Didn't put a whole lot of pockets in this one. I put a little pocket right here. It could house stickers or something like that. Really pretty. I put the design on top of that one. And I think that was about it for this insert. I have the secretarial pocket here. So I put the design all the way up and down on this pocket and it's a bigger secretary so you can really put some stuff in here just slip it in there and that's about it for this one so this is the second insert and it's on a jump band okay so here's the third insert and I don't think I have any pockets on the third insert okay that's the third this is the fourth insert and I didn't put any pockets on this one, so I just left those two as is. This is the next insert, which would be the fifth one. No pockets on the fifth insert, and this one is on the jump band. And then this is the last insert, which I think I've added a few pockets in this one. Or did I? Yeah, I did. I just put just a delicate plain pocket there. Put a secretarial pocket here. I did a little design on the top of this pocket here. Yeah, there we go. So there's that pocket. And then I put the design all the way across this pocket here. And I want to say that's about it for the sixth and last one. And then I have the calendar here. And then I can put my pen right on back in here because I'm done. And if I want to add some more pockets later on, I can. But I think for myself, that's about all the storage I need because 
I am going to have to, you know, put some German cards in here and this, that, and the other. So as you can see, the hangover is not bad at all. Um, and the thickness, you know, it's, it's really chunky. So I really liked this project. And I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys get some ideas, you know, out of this. And you can really just go forth and just do whatever you want. If you want to add more pin loops, you can get material like this, that elastic ribbon. I'm sure they have this in all different colors. And you can get the little, you know, binder clips. And, you know, just make all kinds of, you know, pin loops like this you know, out of stuff like that, and you can add different charms and elements and, you know, get, um, stuff like these sticky notes and just, you know, go wild with your travel notebook. So I am going to enjoy using this. Um, I just love it. You know, it's the perfect size and it's still wide and that's really what I wanted. I wanted it to be still wide and not, you know, bulk up to you know, a basic size. So I really like this. This was a good, good find at um, Hobby Lobby. And even though it's not pink, I have some pink on the inside. And I like this. So I really, really love that I was able to bring this to you guys. And I just can't wait to show you guys what I do with it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while you know i put this together it did take me you know three or four days to get this done but i really really enjoyed the time i spent doing this and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so i will definitely come to you you know with the days that i spend writing in this and you know tackling different things that i want to do in this and thank you guys so much again don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys on another video. Mwah! Thanks for watching. Bye.